Hello there, Big Benedict here. We're playing Gears of War 2, and this is my insane difficulty guide and walkthrough. We're currently on Act 4. This is the act entitled Hive. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the first chapter of Hive is entitled Priorities. This is about a five minute chapter that before you start actually shooting people, you're going to do a lot of, of running over to this first confrontation. Uh, mind what we have here, though, because we just came off that boss fight in the previous um, final chapter of Act 3. So they're starting us off with the default weapons here. So what I would recommend is that when you get the opportunity, switch the shotgun for the long shot and then also equip a torque bow. I'll show you how to get all of these things, by the way. But um, the first fight over here there's going to be one locust that comes into the room and throws a switch which will flush you out of the room it's a room that has several uh, uh little uh, they're narrow and shallow canals that you take cover in but if the engineer throws a switch as i said you'll f get flushed out of the room and it's a fail state um unfortunately you have to turn the wheel every time and you have to be really careful over here and I'll, I'll point out where the engineer is. He's He'll come into the room and then he'll take a left from our perspective. He doesn't have much HP at all. And it's only him that can throw the switch. He's the only one that will do it. But do you see how quickly he, he goes down? He's already down. Uh, but none of the other ones have the credentials seemingly to be able to throw the switch. So they don't do it. The Grenadiers... You really need to watch out for their grenades over here, as well as the fact that they have shotguns, and you can get put down instantaneously over here with the combination of that and one sniper. See how much damage I took right there? I, I wasn't even out of cover. So it's very dangerous. If you, if you miss the sniper rifle in this room, don't worry. There's one coming up in the next room, as well as a an ammo box that respawns indefinitely. It's a glitch. Um... But definitely, if you if you do have to move over here, do whatever it takes if, if you're getting uh, grenades thrown at you. Um, but again, it, it really can't be stressed how fast you can get put down here because of the, shotgu the shotguns. Um, I've had many occasions where I was put down instantly. With no second chance, just full health and then dead through bad, bad circumstances. But what you want to do, though, is you want to take the long shot as far as you can through this chapter and the next chapter because it's quite helpful on upcoming chapters. And, again, you don't need to pick this up if you don't want to because there is one in the next room. And it is kind of funny because this ammo box will respawn indefinitely, so you can get as many rounds for all of your weapons before you leave the stage. So it's... Once you go down the stairs a little bit, you'll, you'll, um, you'll see that it will respawn if you go back up the stairs and go over to where that box was. It will respawn. It's kind of funny, actually. Um, but once you do go down the stairs, you're going to spawn a, um, a mauler. So you need to take care of him very quickly. But you do have a lot of uh, backup room over here. But you have to watch out for the wretches as well. See how that ammo box respawned? up here uh, this is a two-phase fight and it's a fight that a couple times i've had a problem with dom not being able to um hold his own and he falls down in combat um but the more you stay back here the more he is likely to just keep regrouping with you and he won't put himself in too much danger i would hope but i like to shoot the um that light right there i i think it's controlled by an enemy that you get uh, a kill on right there but i don't know if he's part of the fight though it's so hard to tell what you want to prioritize uh, obviously is the guy behind the turret even if you don't see me uh, going after him directly first you definitely want to make sure that he's out of the way um, early on and then um, if dom does fall back he usually again i've not experienced too many issues where he runs really far up and gets you in a really bad position or circumstance i should say uh, but just remember, once the fight is completely done, you want to make sure that you um, you 
you go back to that ammunition box if you need to because there's some other ones over here too and just max out your your long shot in your torque bow if you don't want those two weapons that's perfectly fine um, I try to at least have the long shot though if you if you you know if you I know a lot of people have their preferences of course but um, some situations just are dealt with a lot better if you have particular weapons when the fight is over though you're going to interact with the computer terminal over to the right I think we just have one guy left and that's all you've got to do it's a brief chapter and the, the next chapter is as brief and it has a very difficult fight on it so I will see you there it is the answers chapter and until then please take care